guys welcome back to my channel i just wanted to get on here and give my thoughts on the whole malia davis uh case i hope i said that right um you know god rest her soul she's a beautiful spirit and she's a beautiful little girl a little baby girl i believe she was four years old um if i say anything wrong just let me know in the comments i'm not really going to go into like details i just want to you know send some love to the family justice will be served i believe they did find out um the story i've been watching a channel i don't want to say her name wrong is it like 54 54 tv it's not, i think i said it wrong 54 key it's something like that i'm going to leave her channel in the description box so you guys can go check it out she did a very amazing job on breaking the situation down in this case y'all this is very sad I'm a mother of six girls. I have six daughters. And like I feel like I, I feel like I can cry just thinking about it because she's a little angel. You know, and kids are innocent, y'all. There's nothing that a kid can ever do to make you want to hurt them or kill them or take them out of this world. Who are we to take anybody else out of this world? So like I said, I'm not gonna get very deep into this, but I do wanna talk about how I feel about the situation. I just feel like it's it's just really sad that she had to go through that. A baby girl like that just really makes me want to cry like it does just think it because I can really put myself in that place I've never lost a kid or never had to deal with it but I know like my mom has lost a kid my sister was murdered and to this day is still really hurt so I can only imagine what she's going through the only reason me and my family especially my mother is making it is because of God without God I don't think we will be where we are today. And what I mean by what we are today, I don't mean having fancy cars, clothes, none of that. I just mean our mindsets, our hearts and mindsets. We are not in the same place. So, yeah, y'all, but that baby was four years old, y'all, little. And I look at my girls, and I just, I could just cry. But just God be with the family, the ones, you know, who love that baby. Cause I do believe the mom was involved. Like I could be wrong. I'm sorry, but this is just how I feel. I'm not saying I'm right. This is my opinion, my thoughts. I do feel like the mother was, or the mother did have something to do with it. I see no remorse in any of the interviews. Imagine your baby, your baby that you had. Imagine their life getting took away. You are not going to be calm. You are not just going to sit there. You're not going to do any of that stuff. You're going to be crying. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be trying to figure out everything. You know, you're going to just be going crazy trying to figure out what happened to your baby. You're not going to just be calm and just sitting there. And I did not see any real tears, y'all. If somebody loses their baby, they're going to be crying. They're going to be hurt. They're not going to be just chilling like everything's okay. So I do feel like the mom was involved. The boyfriend was involved. They both should get in trouble for taking somebody's life away from them. Yes, they should. And that's my opinion. This this is really sad, y'all. They took her body. Excuse the kids. They took that baby's body. They killed that baby. Took her body. And then, I don't know what to do. I think he just got rid of her body, y'all. Dumped a baby, y'all. Killed a little... I, I'm sorry, y'all. I just did my makeup because I was going to record some more videos, y'all. So, I don't want to cry and mess it up. But, it just makes me really sad. And, like, I'm not very, very sensitive. But when I think about kids and stuff, little kids is, like, they make me break. That's my breaking point. <sighs> and they took her small little body, did whatever they did to her. And I don't know if this is true, but I believe um, the boyfriend had... Um, confessed and said that he had dumped her body somewhere. I really don't know everything. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna leave the channel that I was watching um, in my description box. Y'all definitely go check her out because she is so lit. Shout out to her. She she actually, I think she's sick or I went through a surgery. The girl that I'm talking about, go check her YouTube out. Y'all go subscribe to her channel and stuff like that because that's what I really, that's what I really love about y'all YouTubers, okay? The ones who investigate and get down to the nitty gritty because y'all gonna figure that out. Y'all don't care. All y'all YouTube people be in the comments going hard, okay? And that's what I like. Y'all go hard, you know, because everybody else just sitting around and waiting. The police be sitting around waiting. Um, 
and stuff like that. I'm not saying that they weren't doing anything, but you know, YouTubers be on it. Y'all be on the case. I really appreciate that. It's some other channels that I have been watching too. Hopefully I'll try to leave the links below in the description box so you guys can go check it out if you have not been following this case. It's just really, really sad. And this is not the first baby that's this is gonna happen to. This is not the last. That's the sad part. Just like somebody else said that I was watching. Just when I thought I was doing better. I, I can't remember her name. She said, just when I thought we had a chill moment, just when I thought we was kind of at peace, not saying we were all the way at peace, but she said, just when I felt like we were getting a break from all the madness in this world, y'all, and it's the last days, like God said, it, it, it's evil. People will love themselves. People will worship themselves. People will just kill, steal, destroy, all that stuff. And I'm not saying I'm perfect because no one is perfect, but I'm a humble person. I don't want to see anybody hurt. I want to support other people. I want to see everybody grow. I don't want the world to be like it is. Like, I don't like how the world is. I wish it's a better place. I just wish everybody had the heart that I had or not even the heart that I had. What I mean is I wish everybody had a humble heart because I'm so humble. When I love, I love for real. No matter if you're brother, friend, sister, cousin. You don't have to necessarily be blood for me to love you. I love all people because we are all brothers and sisters. And we need to come together. I don't care what color you is. I don't care what race. And we need to stop this madness, y'all. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you post positive stuff on your uh, social media. You know, if you go out, you know, help the sick and shut in. You know, um, just go do stuff. Whatever you can try to do to go help people. Witness to people. Um, if you believe in prayer, you can go out and pray. Um, you can go to church. You don't have to necessarily go to church if you don't want to, but you can go to church. It's so much stuff you can do. You can make videos inspiring other people, y'all. I never knew how much kids look up to older people. When they admire you, they really look up to you, and they are watching every move you do. So just like when you have kids, you have to be on point. You have to stay positive, stay strong. You are an example. All of us, all of us older people of the world, the little ones are looking up to us, so we have to be on our grind. But this video is all over the place, but I have so much on my heart. Um, yes, I have so much on my heart. I actually think I might start just speaking, you know, just speaking some stuff. So, you know, just going around on my um, social media and on my YouTube page, just start speaking stuff because there's so much stuff that I see in the world, so much stuff that I feel. I can look at a person and just feel all their pain. And it's like, Lord, the Lord will, like, get in my head, and he's like, talk to this person and when i say the lord tells me what to do i'm not saying it's a physical voice it's not a physical voice it's the wisdom god will give you the wisdom and tell you what to do you know he'll tell you what to do you just have to know the difference between just regular thoughts your own thoughts you know worldly thoughts or godly thoughts you have to know the difference so that's the thing if you don't stand for it if you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything and that's the truth. You have to stand for something. You know, everybody is different. Everybody's situation is different. Everybody likes his life is different. But for me, I love God. I, I've been in church all my life. I grew up in church, y'all. I love God. He's my savior. So I have a way to cope and I pray. Like I pray. I have not been praying like I should, y'all, but I pray. When I'm going through something, I pray. When I need something, I ask Jesus. I'm not scared, y'all. I am not scared to praise the Lord, y'all. No matter what the circumstance is, I always will praise God. I know y'all don't see me post a lot and y'all like, oh, she's worldly and stuff like that. Yes, I do have my worldly moments and I have not forgot about God. That's one thing. I will never forget about God. I will never forget about God because God has not forgot about me. So I just always keep that in mind. I always talk to my God no matter what the, no matter what the situation may be. I always talk to God. I always let him know what's on my heart. You know, because God knows what's on our heart, but he wants you to communicate with him. He wants to know. God is a jealous God. He don't want you to praise anyone else except him. Okay? And when I mean God is a jealous God, I don't mean it in a bad way. I just means he wants to see you praying to him, crying out to him. He wants you to, to acknowledge that he's there. Okay? Because he is there. He never left us. And this is what I always tell my mother. Mom, I always say, Lord, why me? I don't question him, but you are so good to me, Lord. Like, I'm not trying to question him, but I just think about that. You think about why me? I sin and stuff like that. You still love me, Lord. Not saying that's okay to sin, but I'm working on it. I am not a perfect person, but I am working on it. I want to be better. I want to succeed. I want to do 
better and bigger things, bigger and better things. And we all can do that. So if there's anybody out there feeling low, feeling like you can't do anything, just stay strong, okay, you guys? It's so much going on. I know you younger children out there sometimes feel like you don't have the guidance. Try praying. If you do not believe, just try praying, y'all. If nothing at all, if you're out there feeling like you're going to end your life, just watch this video and really just be inspired. Don't do anything crazy. Don't. If you feel like you want to hurt somebody, kill somebody, just take a minute and think. Think about life. Think about what you are doing to the people. Not just the person, because if you kill someone, yes, they're at peace. But the family suffers, okay? If you, like, you just really have to think about life in that situation. But back to the baby, y'all. I'm just going to pray for the family to stay strong and justice will be served. I, like I said, I believe they figured out and found out some new information. Everyone just needs prayer. So I'm praying for everybody in a situation. I know it's horrible. I just want everybody to just be strong, stay strong, y'all. Stay positive. I love you so much. I don't know if my camera's getting ready to die or not, but I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Plus, my daughter's waking up. If you need a prayer or anything like that, y'all, all my information will be in my description box. Just email me, comment, and I can pray for you or anything you need, okay? Just let me know if you need somebody to talk to or anything like that. Y'all, seriously, do not just sit around and feel like you cannot talk to anybody. That's one of the biggest mistakes we can make, not talking to anybody. You have to get it out there. If you do not have anybody by your side physically, like I said, email me, you guys. I will pray for you guys. And also, you guys, pray, even if you do not believe. Pray, okay? Just test yourself. Test yourself and see what happens, okay? Because God is a good God. Prayers for little Malia Davis. Your soul is with God, okay? You are an angel, beautiful. You don't have to suffer no more, beautiful. You don't have to worry no more, beautiful. God got you, okay? God got you. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and edit this video and get it up tonight. I love you guys so much. Stay strong, y'all.